This well-known painting by John Gast has come to represent the American idea of Manifest Destiny. But what is Manifest Destiny? In the middle of the 19th century, Americans were eager to move west. They wanted to see the span of the United States from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific. Americans saw empty land waiting to be filled. They thought the open land represented opportunity and potential wealth. By moving west, they could share their unique form of government and the freedom it represented. They believed that America was destined to be a great nation. This concept of discovery was not new. Europeans believed they had a right to claim their discovery. They thought of the New World as a wilderness waiting to be tamed. But this land was not empty. It was home to countless American Indians, people who hunted, farmed, and raised families on the land. These native residents disagreed. They viewed the land as theirs. From the beginning, Americans had a different idea. The whole continent of North America appears to be destined by divine providence to be peopled by one nation, speaking one language, professing one general system of religious and political principles, and accustomed to one general tenor of social usages and customs. For the common happiness of them all, for their peace and prosperity, I believe it is indispensable that they should be associated in one federal union. John Quincy Adams Journalist John L. O'Sullivan was the first to use the term Manifest Destiny. He wanted the United States to annex Texas and the Oregon Territory. And that claim is by the right of our manifest destiny to overspread and to possess the whole of the continent which Providence has given us for the development of the great experiment of liberty. John L. O'Sullivan Americans believed it was their divine duty to spread democracy from coast to coast. Most didn't think America should take the continent by force. They believed that as Americans moved west, the Indians would gradually relinquish their lands and adapt the ways of the Christian American society. Churches and missionaries shared this belief. There was little or no consideration as to the effect settlement would have on the native peoples. As eastern Indian tribes were moved west to make way for settlers, places like Shawnee Indian Mission were established to help with the transition and pave the way for expansion. Manifest Destiny was not just a political concept. Millions of ordinary Americans believed that their best opportunities lay in the west. In the first half of the 1800s, at least four million people followed this dream. Many stopped for comfort or supplies at this mission, making this place a symbol of the American dream for some and the loss of a traditional way of life for others.